Hi, everybody. This is Radley, and I hope you're doing well today. Um, this is going to be a giggleless uh, video. <laughs> See, I already broke my rule. <laughs> you have no help. I have no idea how hard it is for me to restrain that laugh. Um, the reason for this video is, as of late, a lot of really sweet and, and loving and caring people have been worrying about me. And people have been posting that I look sad or that, I'm, that I am looking tired. And the, the main truth is that I've had a head cold for the last week. Um, and giggling leads to coughing. <laughs> so I have had to restrain myself in videos lest I hack my way through them. Um, one of the things that you guys know about is that one of the people on my team is Sherry Wynn, and she is my manager of miracles. And not too long ago, I asked her, you know, if you have one piece of advice for me, what would that piece of advice be? And her advice was, you don't take care of yourself. And I don't know if you know this, but when you hire a manager of miracles, you actually sort of work for them. <laughs> <clears throat> Not the other way around. <laughs> um, uh, but she's right. Uh, I have not done a good job of taking care of myself. Um, over the few years as my career has gone in a new direction and has the opportunities for me have increased, all that time, all I've ever done is say yes, 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 yes. And right now, this is a very magical time for me in my life. Um, and the number of things that people are asking of me has like tripled and I'm still saying yes. And I've overcommitted myself. I've overcommitted myself uh, in writing projects, in um, events. 2019 is just jam-packed. <laughs> and, and so, you know, I really think that's why I got a cold, is, you know, my angels are saying, you can't do this. Um, you have to, if you want to spread the message of the angels, if you want to spread... Um, messages of light and and the languages of the divine, uh, you're going to have to really take care of yourself or your little motor will burn out. And so I am taking care of myself. Um, I have, there's no need to send, you know, uh, energy to me or anything like that. I've taken care of it. I uh, Sherry found me somebody phenomenal. I mean, truly, this woman is a marvel. And I'm already feeling better. I'm on the mend. But we're also working on me taking care of myself on a long-term basis. There's an old adage that you can't pour from an empty vessel. And <laughs> my, <clears throat> my angels have been playfully teaching me that lesson. And, you know, whenever my angels teach me something new, then I... I like to share it with you. And so as you go into 2019, take care of yourself. Remember that you can't pour from an empty vessel, that we as light workers and spiritual teachers and just super open-hearted, nice people who give too much, we have to take care of ourselves. I'm taking care of myself now, I promise. So I get it. But Let's, let's all do that. And for 2019, let's all commit that we're going to take care of ourselves and not just each other. And I am learning the, the hard way <clears throat> that no is sometimes the right answer and an incredibly loving thing to do for yourself. So don't worry, I'm still gonna be all over the place in 2019. We have wonderful, exciting new things. My team continues to grow. And we have amazing things to share with you in 2019, including the long-awaited and much-asked-for angel communication class that I'm going to be teaching, like kind of like all over the place. So that's coming in 2019. You heard it here first. Um, 
In the meantime, please, please don't worry about me. I'm fine. I just still have the cold. And I got the message, angels. It's going to be great.